For the infinite power tower or infinite exponentiation that is presented here, we want to examine whether it really is equal to 1 or not. I show you a quick way to prove this, but if you're interested in examination of the convergence for this a specific infinite power tower, please browse and uh, forward to minute 3-4 onward to see the study of uh, the convergence. So a quick way would be if we refer to this whole thing as unknown y, we can see that the y's keep repeating itself like this. It is appear again. It is appearing again in the exponent because of these ellipses that indicate that this whole infinite exponentiation keeps going on forever. So I can refer to this whole thing here in the exponent as y as well. So effectively, I can rewrite this whole thing as y is equal to two to the one minus y. Okay, um, a quick test, just a matter of checking. We are trying to prove that y is equal to 1. If that is the case, we can plug in for a second to see whether it actually works. So let's say set y equal to 1. We get on the, um, let's say, left side 1. And on the right side, we have 2 minus 1, which is 2 to the 0, which is 1. So it checks out. But let's prove it. So to prove it, there are many ways, but one quick way is take a log base 2 from both sides, so log base 2 of y equal to log base 2 of 2 to the 1 minus y, which is effectively just 1 minus y. So it's as if we are setting two functions equal to each other. One function is z equal to log y base 2. The other function is z equal to 1 minus y, which is a line with a negative tangent so or a slope. Let's have the horizontal axis as y and the vertical axis for our plot as z. For, uh, let's say, one equation, we have z equal to 1 minus y, which clearly says if we pass, um, say, y equal to 1, let me write it here. So if y is equal to 1, we're going to cross we're going to cross this point. And uh, at y equal to 0, it's 1. So it's clearly this line. There you go. It's that line. And uh, for, let's say, if I can shift it to make it look nicer, then better. Okay, perfect. Now, um, and maybe the color is, there you go. So if now we have the, the other function, which is, let's say, this function here, and I'm going to uh, show it with green color, then you can see we are talking about log base 2 of y, which uh, means I am dealing with, of course, log 0 is negative infinity, log 1 is 0. So that function is, let me move this here. Okay, so that function is this at uh, y equal to uh, 0.5 here midway, it is crossing negative 1, so here, negative 1. So whatever I'm showing should cross this point. At y equal to 1, it crosses 0. At y equal to 2, it, cross, it crosses, it crosses um, let's say, 1. So 2, it has to be equal to 1. There you go, this point. And finally, at y equal to 4, probably somewhere here, it will become y equal to 2. So there you go, here. OK, so uh, this is the log, the, the well-known logarithm curve. So let me just make sure that I am plotting it right. Something like this. OK, you can see that. Uh, the only way that we have these two function equal to each other is only it's only happening at one point, which is this point, obviously, when y is equal to one, and uh, that's the only way. So based on the plot that I presented here, the answer to this uh, equality or equation is when y is equal to one, and that answers the question because we wanted to prove that y is equal to one. Now. Another view of this, as I said, the discussion about convergence is uh, I'm going to convert and reformat this given problem here into something that looks like uh, the well-known tetration or hyper-4 operation, which is x to the power x to the power x. Right now, it is not exactly looking like that. Compare 
compare x to the power x to the power x to infinity, which is a tetration, to the infinite exponentiation that is presented here, which is not exactly that. So to, to convert that and benefit from what is known about the convergence of this, I'm going I'm to do a quick a manipulation, algebraic manipulation. So let me play with that. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to write it this way. Just making sure I have the right color. Okay, so what do we have? We have uh, y to the power, uh, y is equal to 2 to the power. Let me show that, yeah. Okay, y is equal to 2 to the power 1 minus y. That, that is what we have. Okay, I can write this as y is equal to 2 times because 2 to the 1, and then we have minus y in exponent, which becomes 2 times 2 to the 1 times times 2 to the negative y. Okay, but uh, we just, I can just keep it this way, it's good enough. So we are saying it's 2 times 2 to the negative y. Okay, but then we just said that y is equal to, there you go, y is equal to this whole thing. So I'm going to write it here. Let me just complete that. Maybe I just put it. y is equal to 2 times 2 to the negative y. This is what I want. So let's keep this as equation 1. All right. So that means I can substitute for y using this equation. So using equation 1, I can say y is equal to 2 to 2 times 2 to the negative 2 and then times 2 to the negative y. I just used equation 1 and substituted for this y, for this y one time. Okay, so as a result, what do I get? We get 2 times and then 2 to the here we have a busy exponent, but I can write it in the form of 2 to the negative 2, and then to the power uh, 2 to the negative y, the whole thing. That's the benefit of having exponent, the format it is. But uh, this 2 to the negative power that you see here, this one, it can be written as, uh, obviously, I'm going to write it here. So it can be written as 2 times 0.25, because 2 to the negative 2 is simply 0.25, is 1 quarter, and uh, to the power 2 to the negative y. So what did we achieve here? Um, I achieved this. I showed that whenever I have uh, 2 to the negative y, I can write it in the form of 0.25 2 to the negative 5 negative y so again basically um, the lesson learned is I can do it one more time 0.25 to the power 0.25 2 to the negative y so this just means that we are dealing with uh, the famous tetration of 2 times 0.25 tetration which means 0.25 forever, forever, forever. Basically, we have uh, this sort of equation now in which x is 0.25. So now we can benefit from the tetration. So, um, and uh, in that sense, this well-known uh, plot comes handy, which is the convergence plot, in which it says that uh, in the equation, let me bring that equation down so that I can refer to it easier. So just uh, bear with me for a sec, making things cleaner here. Okay, in this tetration, okay, here, that I say that I say x is equal to 0.25. Great. When I say x is equal to 
I get 0.25 to the power 0.25 to the power 0.25 and that goes forever. Or basically if you want to write it in another way, 1 over 4 to the power 1 over 4 to the power 1 over 4 goes forever. So does this have a solution? Is this converging or not? Um, so story is the same. If you look at the famous uh, convergence plot for tetration like this, basically the problem of x to the power x to the power x, which is also referred to as hyper 4 operation, or infinite exponentiation, or infinite power tower, or tetration, or even sometimes super exponentiation, then on the x-axis, it is proven actually even back to um, Euler time that as long as x or input variable involved in this uh, tetration or left exponent uh, when uh, power goes to infinity, um, as long as x is limited in this range, so as long as x is in between e to the negative e and uh, greater than or equal e to the negative e and less than or equal 1 over e, then this has a unique solution, and that unique solution, so that is for x-axis in this range that I just highlighted, And for y-axis, the unique answer is within e down to 1 over e. Um, so in this case, we are saying x is 0.25. And uh, just bear in mind that e to the negative e is uh, even less than... So e to the negative e is about 0.06. So that's definitely less than 1, less than 0.1. So we are, with the x equal to 0.25, we are definitely in the convergence region. We are here. This is roughly halfway. This is about 0.25. So this point is, um, so this point is x equal to 0.25. And for that, there is a solution actually, and that solution actually happened to be exactly 0.5. I can prove it as well. So uh, the answer is this tetration ends up with 1 over 2 or 0.5. That's basically the answer to this equation. But we have two times that. So we have two times 1 over 2 in the original equation. So we end up with 1 that we wanted to prove. Uh, bear in mind that Another symbol or notation to refer to when we are dealing with this kind of scenarios is, is also, it's also referred to it as this way. So in this scenario, this tetration is also sh sometimes shown as a left exponent in which uh, there is a power, sort of left exponent power n shown, is shown for 0.25. And then we are saying limit of this when n goes to infinity. So this means uh, keep raising 0.25 to the power 0.25 n times, but then n goes to infinity, so keep doing it for infinite times, which basically means this notation or infinite uh, power tower. Uh, to prove what I have written here, if you're interested, aside from the fact that I showed it on the plot, is just as simple as this. Um, just take, a let's say, the same concept as before. We are saying... Um, say, for example, we are saying uh, if you're interested to find this equal to, say, um, some value like uh, z, then take a, uh, you can see that z is repeating itself. So we are effectively saying z is equal to, in this case, 0 0.25 to the power z. So 0 0.25 to the power z. Uh, take a log base 2 from both sides. So log base 2 of z. Um, maybe instead of z, I use w so that it's not very close to the look of uh, number 2. So w and then 0.25w. So we end up with log base 2 of w equal to w uh, log base 2 of 0.25, which is, which is obviously point, which is obviously negative. This one is negative 2. So negative 2w. Same as before, we have negative 2w, so that's one function, which is a line with a slope of negative 2 that is crossing uh, a log base 2 of w. So if I go back to what I showed you before, 
it's very similar to um, the, the sort of a graph we saw here because on one one function is log base 2 which is similar to before the other function is a little bit different is negative 2 w so instead of 1 minus w now we are dealing with um, negative 2 so so the line uh, looks like this line now so we are crossing at I'm trying to just make sure I am showing you the right thing okay so we are crossing at minus 2 when we have when we have horizontal value equal to 1 and the line will look like this let me make sure I'm not missing something it's very hard to show it here So the line of negative uh, 2y or negative 2w now looks like something like this. Uh, maybe I use a different color. Okay, this color is good. So it looks like this line. All right. So what I'm trying to say is now you can see that uh, for the green log, The crossing of the green log so if I go back to my green color this is log base 2 of input the other line is negative 2y so the crossing of the, sorry not that one this one negative 2y so the crossing only happened at this point which is uh, the vertical axis negative 1 and horizontal axis at 0.5 so basically this equation that I have written here only works when we say omega or w is just 1 over 2 when that is the case obviously this side become negative 1 and this side also for log base 2 of 0.5 become negative 1 so we can see that the left hand side and right hand side of the equation matches so in this equation in order for it to work basically it is just trying to say that uh, w should be 1 over 2 and that's exactly what we were chasing because we were trying to say that tetration or infinite exponentiation of 0.25 becomes just 1 over 2 all right, so I hope that this example is helpful in terms of proving um, in multiple ways and also um, in this, this infinite power tower that it is in fact equal to one and also discussion of, uh, and also presenting the discussion of the convergence as well.